I am in Onshape continuing my test drive. The first thing that I want to do is change my sketch. I don't like my dimensions in here, so I will right click on it and choose edit. This takes me into sketch mode. Let's see the first thing I'm going to do. I want all these to be bigger by value of 10 because those dimensions are ridiculous. And change this to 90. And last one. 80. Okay, that is more realistic. Let's hit the check mark to complete that one. And similarly, let's edit the extrude. And hit the check mark. All right, great. For the next feature that I'm going to do, let's do another sketch. But let me bring back this plane called front. Let's sketch on front. And let me use the keyboard shortcut of N to go to a normal view. And let's see in here. Let's see what kinds of tools that I have. So circle. OK, use project. From the drop down list, I can also do an intersection. And let me use this. That is good. And then do some lines. All right. And those lines are black because they are fully controlled. Uh oh, don't look like how I got that last line in there. Let's see. Let's try. So, oops, let me escape out of the line and then let's try to, let's see what undo does. There we go, got rid of that one. This one over here, let me just delete that. Okay, looks like I got a vertical line there. Let's delete that. Let me try again, let's try a line. Okay, let me escape out of the line and let's try using project again. And I'll project this edge and project this edge. Now let's sketch a line. Horizontal. Oh, let me right click and then escape out of the line. Now let's try the trim command and trim this. Now let's try to dimension. And this is going to be a value of 90. Okay, I think I got that right. Let's hit the check mark. And now I'm going to extrude again. Let's select sketch two. And this is going to add material just like before. I'm going to do a symmetric depth. And let's try value of 60. And right now I'm adding material. If I chose remove material, it would subtract. Intersect would create a new part. New would also create a new part, but I want to add to the connecting rod parts that I have. Let's hit the check mark. All right, now I'm going to repeat that. I think I can do the next sketch a bit faster. Let's do sketch. And I'm going to sketch on front. Let's use the project command and I will project this edge and this edge and this edge. Let me right click and go to view normal to the sketch plane. Let's create a line, which let me see if I can do line. No, I can't do line from right mouse button. Let me escape use. Okay, let's sketch a line from here across to there, 
oops right click in the escape line now let's go back to the trim command trim that off and trim that off let's escape the trim command go to dimension and dimension from here to there locate it there and this is going to be a value of 80 let's hit the check mark and this time I'll try selecting the sketch first and then extrude that's good once again we're going to do a symmetric depth but this one's going to be a value of 80 and I like that let's hit the check mark I've got that in there now I want to do a couple of different holes. Right now I'm checking to see if I have any datum geometry like axes or something like that. I don't see them, so let's just try the hole command. Let's see. The hole should be this one over here. And hole one. Let's see, I've got a drop down. Simple counterbore or countersink. Let's use simple. And we have through, blind, blind, and last. And let's see, custom, ANSI, ISO, DIN, PEM. And let's see, sketch points to place holes. No hole points selected. Okay, so I just figured out it's telling me, let's see, to sketch points to place the holes. So let me cancel out of holes. And let's create a sketch. And let me select the plane called front. Let's go to view normal to the plane. Ah, that one is obviously a point. Okay, so let's see. Let's sketch a point there. Sketch a point there, and let's see. Escape the point. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. What does that mean? Let's check system compatibility in the new tab. All right. Everything seems fine there. Let's see if I can make concentric this and this. Okay, it adjusted the location. I think I got that one there. Let's see if I can hit the check mark. Okay, that's good. Now let's try the hole tool. Hole and locate it on there. Right now it's giving me a diameter of 5. Let's try a diameter instead of 80. Actually, I want this to be a diameter of 50. That's way too big. Let's see. Merge scope. Not, no target part selected. Let's select the connecting rod. Okay, that's good. And let's see. Simple through. And I'm pretty certain there is a way to get this hole going in both directions, but I do not see how to do that at the moment. Let's see, opposite direction. All right, I'm going to create this here for now. So let me hit the check mark. And let's see if I take sketch one and see if I can edit it and instead of it being on the front plane what if I put it on this surface instead and try hitting the check mark and then edit hole one and flip the direction now it goes through the entire thing so it's not exactly what I wanted but let's leave that for now let's see for my other sketch hole, let me just make another sketch on this surface just to be certain. 
Let's go to view normal to the sketch plane and let's drop in a point and let's put the point right there. Let's hit the check mark and now I will create a hole on this point and it's a through hole it's going through the entire thing that is good and I forget what the diameter I want for this hole so I'll just leave it at 50 for now and I can change it later on and the last thing I'm going to put into these parts are some fillets so let's try the fillet tool and then the entities to fill it let's select that edge and just left clicking on this one as well okay so a little different than Creole all I have to do is left pick I don't have to hold down the control key to select multiple entities and for the radius let's go with a value of see what 30 looks like yep that looks a little big let's try 20 And I'll leave that value and hit the check mark. So this is good for my connecting rod geometry. I'm going to create a new sketch for my second part. Let's start a new sketch. I'm just going to sketch on front. Let me right click and view normal to the plane. And I'm going to sketch in a circle. And this is going to be for the piston pin. So let's do a circle. And make it about yay big. Let's now go back to this concentric command and make this concentric to this. Let's put in a dimension. And for this one, let's use a value of 50. Hit the check mark, and I'm going to select sketch six and extrude it. Let's do a symmetric depth of 200. And right now it's adding material, but now I'm going to use new to make this as a second part. That is good. Let's hit the check mark. And for the second part, I can right click on it and choose rename. And this one is going to be my piston pin. And let's try the enter key. There it is. And space is in the file name. That's a nice little thing. Let's now select the piston pin and then right click. And we can go to assign materials. And from this one, okay, I'm using the on shape library. Let's go to the drop down list. And let's use some 7075 aluminum for this. I know my connecting rod is made out of steel, but just to use something different. And I'll leave the appearance that I have in here. So right now I have two different parts. And as I understand it, since I use the same part studio, these are connected. I guess if I make my connecting rod longer, it should change the location of the piston pin. But this isn't, oops, this isn't actually an assembly yet. I don't have any components in here and right now I'm just working in the part studio with my geometry so I kind of fumbled through a few of the different steps here again it's still pretty intuitive especially since I already know one or more other CAD packages so I think the next step for me is to go into the learning center and start getting myself some training right inside of here and so where I think I'm going to start is with the self-paced courses. And quite a bit of stuff in here for me to go through. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.